as people increasingly equate wealth with good physical health, new spaces are opening up that bring together fitness, food and retail in a really elevated way. And all of this comes as retail footfall is on the decline and people increasingly want to hang out in these sorts of spaces. We spoke to James Dagan, the founder of Bodyism, at his Notting Hill studio to see what makes them so special. I actually started Bodyism 10 years ago and we were very fortunate to always focus on our why. And our why is to change people's lives and that allowed us to transcend beyond squats and lunges. Right now we're experiencing something of a backlash against clean eating, which is warranted because it's scary. It's been hijacked by some fairly ruthless opportunistic people that have turned it into something that's obsessive, restrictive and dangerous, but it's not that. It's a really beautiful way of looking at life and it's a really healthy way of nourishing yourself, not just through what you eat, but how you move and how you think. As a business, everything we've ever done, we got told by experts not to do. We've never looked at something like, well, what does the consumer want? We, we think of it in terms of what do people really need? It's not jumping around with loud music and everyone in hot pants screaming until someone throws up. It's a much gentler place. The air is purified and oxygenated. All of the materials are natural, ethically sourced, eco-friendly. There's crystals everywhere. People come and they will train in the morning and then they'll go and do an hour stretch. Then they'll come and have lunch and then they might go and have a facial. And after that, they'll have a massage. Wellness is more than a trend more than a fad. It's, it's definitely a movement and it's become part of the fabric of people's lives. We're sold on net -a -porte. you know, it's a stylish, global, intelligent, well-educated customer. And then I thought, you know, 25 to sort of 55 was our customer base. But I had a 17-year-old girl come in the other day and she said, oh my God, you make all these. All of the girls at school have all of your supplements. When we started the supplements, we were told, don't do it, it's a bad idea, it's too competitive. In the first year, we put our entire life savings into it, it was 12,000 pounds, and in that first year, it turned over 12,000 pounds. And in the second year, it turned over 350,000 pounds. And then in the third year, it turned over a million pounds. I mean, it's such incredible growth. It all makes sense that, of course, we make supplements, because that's another way of really impacting people's lives. And uh, we make clothes that feel good and look good and make people feel confident and then we create spaces where people feel listened to and connected with and, and really genuinely heal themselves. And for a long time within the business, that was actually a weakness. There were so many different silos within the business to try and manage and bring together and we persevered. And now it all makes sense because we've gotten to a size where we can bring that together as a business and a narrative and a story. And um, it's now a strength. You know, a green juice is the new Rolex now. Globally, fitness accounts for $542 billion of the $3.2 billion wellness industry, while healthy eating, nutrition, and weight loss accounts for a further $648 billion. There are significant opportunities for these types of brands to expand into adjacent categories. There has been a significant step change in how businesses need to speak to consumers, particularly in the holistic health space. As the backlash against clean eating and detoxes gathers pace, but more wholesome lifestyles become the norm, brands need to ensure that the language that they're using to communicate health and well-being resonates with this new attitude. Multifaceted spaces that make the consumer feel nurtured are key, and offering programs that include fitness, mindfulness, apparel and nutrition together will be necessary for growing new lifestyle brands and spaces.